right, hey Gardenville students. Um, I told you I would get to take you on a little virtual field trip to check out some uh, beekeeping. And so that's what we're doing. Um, I have something here called a smoker. Um, and there is some, like old dry grass and some pine needles and things like that. Things in here that'll burn for a little while so that smoke will come out of here. What I'm gonna do when I open up my hive, which is behind me, is I am going to puff some smoke onto the bees and it just kind of makes them a little bit disoriented Sleepy. or calmer like it just keeps them from feeling like I'm there to harm their hive and they'll just be more relaxed as I'm opening things up so as I go over here I've got my daughter Bailey videoing this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the top and then I'm gonna let you look down inside and I'm gonna hold up some frames so that you can see what it looks like inside a hive. Bailey, I will walk over and show you kind of what it looks like. Let me make sure my smoker's still going. I'm gonna get it going just a little bit more before I open things up. So make sure it won't go out. Oh, look behind you. Look at all the deer going through the yard. That's crazy. Okay, did you see him? I saw them, but I didn't get them on okay, video. Okay, let's turn back around here. So see how everything in here is just kind of burning? It's going to get really smoking good. Flip that shut. And then the only place it'll come out is right here so I can puff it. All right. And then I've got my gloves. Um, this is obviously important because you like the I don't want to get like stung. land on your hand and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So no one wants to get stung on their hand. I do not have normal beekeeping pants on down on the bottom, which is why it looks a little silly because I have my husband's pants on. And I just <laughs> have some boots on here because these they are work. leather boots and you can't sting through them. So right now it is function over fashion. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm zipped up really good. I can see through this, it's called a veil, so that I can do what I need to do. And my hair's caught in it. Um, so I can see what I need to do and check on the bees, but they can't get to me. Basically, like you can touch them and do stuff, but like they can't get in yeah. your like harm you. And then my gloves are actually kind of sticky. The reason they're not white is because when you get into the hive, there is something that bees make called propolis, which is sort of like a sticky sap kind of substance, and it seals the little cracks in the hive up. And I've got that all over my gloves. Mama, those. I've got some helpers here. Well, they're not really helpers. I've got one yeah. of my five-year-old helpers that's currently okay. collapsed on the currently ground. Currently collapsing, but she's gonna watch too. Whoops, am I still having a hard time keeping my smoker going today? <laughs> We're doing a little video right now, so can you watch with us? And just listen. A little bit later. No gummies. Oh, I'm being chilled. And I can open up the hive without a smoker, but I prefer not to. So if this kind of goes out, then I will just do my best with it. I think this quick lighter is actually out of fluid. Yeah, it hasn't been working very well. And it's super windy today. And the bees are like, what are you doing? So. No, hey, Becca, do you think I can go up to the house and find another quick lighter? Leave the chickens out, okay? Just had it. No one's not going to go. So the bees can actually make their own wax honeycomb out of it. Sometimes I have a frame on it. So it's like a little foundation that they can build upon it. So these... And the honey so basically the, goes in here. And what you do is sometimes they lay eggs in here. When you, If you look in, you see the larvae, but you can't see it in mm -hmm. here because it's in a row one. And what is this? I can't remember. Is it like pollen. a plop, plop, pollen? That's pollen, and that's what one of the things the bees will use for food. And so you can see that the pollen Down is actually here? different colors. Down in there? Yep. Is that honey? That's the pollen. And then over here. Yeah. And then this side, the 
does not have any. Empty. So this one is empty. All right. So in order to open things up, it gets a little. Mommy. Mama, the delivery man is here. Brennan, your Lego set. Right, so it gets a little sealed shut. That's how she's gonna run in front of the truck and get hit. So I use what's called Can a high pull, or in this situation, I'm just gonna actually use just a little piece of screwdriver. sure everything that I lift up I'm gonna make sure that the Queen's not on there because if she is I don't want to set her aside I want to keep her inside the hive so I will set this first one down and then I'm gonna pick one up to check it out and I can use this part to help me lift it and these bees are really calm they're not really that wound up, which is awesome. I got hit in the face by one just now. <laughs> but the longer I'm in here, the more wound up they'll be. So if I'm gonna keep staying here for a while, I might go get another smoker. So this one just shows some comb that they're just starting to build. Whoops. That scared me. So see, and look this side, they haven't done anything with it yet. I'm like covering up my hand So right because now. I know that the queen's not on this one, I'm gonna set this one aside. So that I have a little bit more space to work Maybe with. Maybe some bees in the process. Oh, mom, it's one stuck under the bottom. Poor thing. And Becca, they're going to be a little bit more um, wound up and kind of flying around a little bit more, so you may not want to get too too close. All right. So then I'm like here, my hands. I don't know how close you can see. There is a bunch of um, <laughs> nectar on here and pollen. Can you see? I wonder if we can find the queen bee. Do you see bee. how shiny it is? Can you guys see the queen bee? The queen bee's not on this one. So can do you I see how shiny it is? Can no, I, it'll you. That one's really big. That's just a drone. So the boy that? bees, the boy bees are drones. And they're really big. And they're a little bit bigger. Like that one right there. Okay, you can't really see it. And that like one right there. The yep. one right there. And is the it rest drone? of them are the worker bees. Like the worker the bees have are. lots and lots and lots of jobs and they are the only ones that leave the hive. So on some of these frames, we are going to see nectar, larva, and well, honey. Nectar, hold on, honey. We're going to see nectar, nectar. and we're going to see pollen. And then on other ones, there's going to be larva. more um, of the eggs and larva. So here you can see that they are closed off. This is an example of eggs that have been capped off. So if you look really carefully, it kind of looks like. Um, Do you see right here? You can look in there and you can see a larva. Can you see it? Really close. You see it? So it looks yep. like a little white I can't see thing. I saw it. And can then I on some it? of them, when, they're, when the eggs are really, really tiny and little, they look like tiny little grains of rice. Mom, one's on your hat. That's okay. It's like, I'm gonna get you. It's not gonna get me. You can tell it's trying to sting. All right. So again, that's just capped larva or already closed it in so that those guys can just keep growing. Put that one back. And each time I lift one of these up, I'm looking for the queen. And if I find her, I'm usually gonna find her on a frame that has larvae. Larva. Not one eggs. that has nectar and um, pollen. And the reason I'm not saying honey is because right now they are still kind of gathering up a lot of nectar to make pollen. I mean, to make That's honey. A good shot of the larva. So they don't have a ton right there. of honey right now. So it might be a little blurry. Okay. Yeah, it got a little blurry at the end. Yeah. I'm going to look over here. How so do you these tell are the all. There's so many out of these. Hmm? I'm like looking well, for When like we something. see her, you'll know. Can we paint her red. That'll be easier. A lot of beekeepers put dots on the queen, like we a should. little red dot. When I got this queen, she didn't was not marked, and I have not marked her, but that does make it easier to find her. I think we should. So we'll red. look for her, and when we see good. her, I'll show you. Spray paint her. You'll be able to see that she I'm looks like different. So Mom, just spray paint her a color. Like, shh, shh. Shh. So, Becca, can you do me a favor step off to the side, the other side of Bailey, so that we have less of a shadow here, I'm and that way you're not also in the bees. Um, oh, it's here, it's here. Yeah. Yep, there's the queen. 
Where? Make sure as you're as you're watching that um. Can't find her. You make sure it? as you're watching that <gasps> oh. you keep the sun on her. Oh, see how she's see really it. long and thin? Yeah. So she's yeah. bigger than the rest of the bees. And I'm not surprised. Look where we found her. All of this are little eggs and larvae. Oh. I don't know how well you can see it Where'd here. Where'd she go? She's walking around. She's, she's, like, I'm she's out of right here. there. So I know where she is right now, and I don't want to keep her out can I see here. Her yeah. She's right. Yay, for once in my life, I actually found the queen. Oh, I see her. Right so there. I'm going to put her back. Her. So she I know looks that so I won't disgusting. accidentally so I to get this pick stuff. her up or we displace her. Do you want me to get the smoke? Is the smoke coming out now? Yeah. yeah. It is? Is it working? See, yeah. sometimes it just takes a while to get it started. Yes, that would be awesome. Here, smoke put it. it at the entrance. Just put it at the entrance. So I'm going to go ahead and check the rest of them. <laughs> They're like... <laughs> I'm just checking the rest of them to see how many of the frames have honeycomb. And if they are filled with pollen and nectar or eggs that's good that's good um so that i know when to add another box there so see how this one doesn't have anything they still have space they still have room to add frames and if you want to look right here and see pollen bailey here's a little piece of pollen that dropped off from like a bee i don't know if you can see it but it's a little yellow ball and here's this too and so if you watch the bees coming in and out you'll actually oh, see bad. them have pollen on their legs. They're carrying it back. Today is a super windy day, so. Okay, that's good, kiddo. So, I'm gonna take here. this. Take a stop, mom, so stop. Okay? And put all these back. Sure. I'm trying to think of any other questions that you might have. So, the bees will really only come out. Are you still videoing? Um, the bees will really only come out when it's like 55 degrees or more and they go out and they find some pollen sources and nectar sources and then come back. So I think you'd like some pollen. You want to hold it in your hand right here. It does look like earwax. That's a really good description. It looks like so, egg yolk too. It does. It looks like egg. crumbled egg yolk. That's a really great way to describe like it. Like boiled eggs? Yeah, kind of like that. Really? So now I'm just putting all the frames back in and I'm being careful not to squish them as I put everything back. And I'm actually going to lift up and... It's really I'll lift up and look at the bottom part too. <laughs> Can't even get any. Go over there and I So, I want you to back up, Bill. You can go ahead and stop videoing. Garden Bowl students, I will pick back up with this a little bit later. I'm going to go ahead and check the bottom part, but I want to be able to have my helpers help me a little bit more. So... I hope you enjoyed this. Dun, dun, Be thinking of dun. questions that you might have. Okay. Bye.